Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you three selections for tomorrow's race and before we get into that quickly just want to reflect on how our selections performed today in the end we came out on top as we had a winning nap at Ripham of Mark's choice a little bit of an early moment where I thought he wasn't going to get the gap but it developed for him in the end and he was able to get his head in front he'd been knocking on the door in his last couple of starts and he was able to take advantage of his good mark today so that was a good result for us there the other selection that ran for us today was whistle down pretty annoyed about the ride to be honest with you with george bass i saw lots of comments on uh, social media afterwards comparing him to jamie spencer he was there on the outside traveling really really well on this horse looking like he was going to win and in the end he just didn't push the button early enough and that's probably what caused this horse uh, victory not to win uh, so yeah that was very disappointing now don't like to be critical of jockeys but I think we uh, had our fingers burnt there with Whistledown who I think ultimately was the best horse in the race if he pushed the horse maybe about 1500 yards earlier I think he would have won quite comfortably and yeah that was very frustrating there the other horse we put up so Titan was a non-runner Epsom so if you backed him you would have got your money back there so that's how our tips were today we came out with a small profit and hopefully we can continue the form going into tomorrow and like I say I've got three tips for tomorrow's race and we're going to be going to several for the first one of them where we're going to be going with my next best in the 220 here a horse called High Velocity for Ross O'Ryan and James Tate available at the time recording at 72 I'm going to recommend a one point win bet here now this horse High Velocity is coming off a little bit of a short break I've been running disappointingly on his last couple of starts when we last saw him on the turf, but I just don't think he's fitted to the turf because if you look at his all weather record, he's very good on it. He's three from four, and I think the switch back to the Tapita tomorrow will serve him in good stead. He's been effective during his career over five and six furlongs. He's probably slightly better over five, but he's probably going to be ridden handily tomorrow. And I just think the break might have done him the world of good. He won after a short break glass uh, towards um the, the beginning of the year this season so i do think there's a lot in his favor tomorrow ross o'ryan as well is a good jockey book and he's won on him before still four shouldn't be bad if he can get into a good prominent position i think he might just be able to uh, show his all, all weather versatility and get his head in front so that's why he is going to be my next best of the day in the 220 at seven that is high velocity and then go to the 240 at walls for my long shot and I'm going to go with Midnight Flame here for Holly Doyle and Tom Ward. Currently available at 17 to 2 of Skybet, who are from four places on this race. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection here. Now, this horse, uh, Midnight Flame, I think was just up against it last time when he was behind an inform horse of Dave Evans called Kiss and Cuddle. Finished third at che Chester, and I just don't think he was ultimately suited by the track. I think the switch back to the all weather could be uh, up his street tomorrow. And also as well, this drop back to five, uh, to six furlongs. I just don't think he was suited by the, the seven furlongs. He's got a sprinter's pedigree. He is drawn in stool nine tomorrow, but I think Holly would want to be forward on him. And if she does go forward, I think it might suit him. I don't think this is a particularly strong race. And I just think going back to the all weather with those extra places on offer, Skybet, who are from four places at 17 to two, I think he can definitely get into the money there. And I think he's got a good chance in this race of being there or thereabouts. So he's going to be my long shot of the day. We then go to the nap. In the 740 Worcester for a bit of jumps action. I like the chance to sit of Mulberry Hill for Paddy Brennan and Fergal O'Brien. Currently available at 72. Going to recommend a one point win bet here. Now this half, Mulberry Hill has been keeping better company of late. She was last seen taking on the boys over three miles. She's a bit of a funny horse. She just, she's a horse that just seems to travel really well, but doesn't maybe necessarily find for pressure. But I think over this two and a half miles tomorrow, which she's going to be running again over, will be, definitely be more up her street. Also, as well, this is going to be against the mayor. Like I say before, and she's been competing in higher higher company against the boys, against her own sex tomorrow. I think she's got a really good chance. She's a previous uh, course winner, the yard of going well, but operating at 35% strike rate. And I think this better ground will definitely be to her advantage. And I think tomorrow, I think she's the one they've all got to beat. And if she's back to near her best, I think 72 is actually not a bad price there. So she's going to be my nap of the day. So they're the selections then for tomorrow's racing. If you're enjoying these videos, remember to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe here to the YouTube channel at LuckyLoads15. Please gamble responsibly, and we'll be seeing you again. Soon.